spending a couple of amazing days exploring Capitol Reef National Park, we headed back north. We were on a 15-day road trip in August of 2020, covering nine different states. This portion of the trip had us traveling from Tor, Utah to Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. We spent one night at a KOA in Vernal, Utah. Shout out to Vernal as they have absolutely beautiful giant baskets of flowers everywhere along the main road in town. After leaving Vernal, we drove through the Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area, which we definitely want to visit in the future. The next day we decided to visit Scotts Bluff National Monument, located in western Nebraska. The monument's north bluff is named after Hiram Scott, a clerk for the Rocky Mountain Fur Company who died near the bluff in 1828. The site also includes a south bluff and the pass that was constructed between the two called Mitchell Pass. The bluffs were a very important landmark for the 250,000 to 500,000 immigrants as they traveled westward past Scott's Bluff between 1843 and 1869 on the Oregon Trail and the California Trail. The view hasn't changed too much from what the immigrants would have seen in the mid-1800s. They could only take what would fit into the wagon and left many treasured items behind. They needed to leave St. Joseph, Missouri by mid-April, then travel 12 to 15 miles per day to cover the 2,000 miles to the west coast before the winter set in. The road to the summit of Scotts Bluff is just 1.6 miles and was built in the 1930s. Once we reached the summit, we took a short walk on the South Overlook Trail, which provides a view of Mitchell Pass, remnants of the Oregon Trail, and the Visitor Center. Scott's Bluff rises 800 feet above the North Platte River. It's a great stop if you'd like to learn more about the history of this important landmark. <music>